age range because goddamn we feel as if like yeah, shit that's they don't like you know it's, it should be more relatable but instead of asking people that like you know who probably been through it already you know what i'm saying like but we don't never listen to them because it's like we feel as if they don't understand type shit but like because they like the, they, they've been they've yeah. been our age before they've been they've been through the like certain <laughs> shit that we've been through like how can we go to somebody else that's going through the same shit and expect them to give us the same like you know a better answer or a better solution than what the fuck that we giving ourselves type shit or you know what i'm saying like yeah but the problem is you know why we don't like to go to the older folks because they don't know how to word the shit either. So you go to them for advice. Look, nigga, this is what you need to do. I did this. I did this. I mean, it's certain way they word shit that young niggas don't want to hear that shit. Like, and that is why talking. that is why the fuck we are here doing this podcast. <laughs> because we can tell you the same shit in a more relatable way, you motherfuckers. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah. And then when I got through that, right, because it took it took that entire year, maybe even longer. To to oh, really nigga, fully... how many bottles was you going through, nigga? Like, what you mean in the Benadryl? Yeah, like. Well, I told you I would take like, like four of four them nine, a night. So yeah. like, how many came in a bottle? Mmm. Well, you know they had them little the, the little boxes mm -hmm. that had a little line that, that had a certain amount in it. But then I didn't run and graduated and got the the big like the big medicine bottle looking shit. Oh, so wow. the, so <laughs> the like shit just sitting shit. all in there like Skittles. That it was wild. bad. Like, I can laugh at it now though, but anybody that's going through that shit, man, listen, the other side of the tunnel, like that light is it, there. You see it. You just you just in a dark place. But when I got through that shit, right, and I just had a, a moment to just step back and this is this is before any woman that I'm interested in came into my life. Y'all had to get right with yourselves first before you can get right with anybody else. That had to go to somebody. I don't know who it went to. I sound like I'm doing a sermon. But mm -hmm. anyway, um, I got to a point where I realized I was like, man, a nigga was tripping last year. Like, <laughs> what the fuck was I on last year? Damn. Like, I was tripping. Like, and then it made me think, honestly, man, if you think in hindsight, breakups not that bad. They are at the moment. But when you look back at it, it's like. Damn, you take Fuck that you, bitch. Get a grip, nigga. What you that, talking about? <laughs> that amongst so many other things. Like you just I look at shit now is just like a learning experience. I, I feel like I learn something new every day. The relationships that I'm that I was in, the people that I've dated, I just take everything that I've learned from each person and I just apply it to myself and I I I, I know how to move. I know how to shake and bake. So that when I'm you know, when I get myself into another situation that I'm absolutely ready for it. And then, like, especially, like, one thing I like about those situations is, like, you learn shit about, like, you learn new shit about yourself. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Like, you definitely learn, like, yeah. new shit about yourself. It's like, damn, like, so this the reason why I've been doing this? Or, like, oh, this the reason why? You see what I'm saying? So, it's like, it's really crazy. Open up your eyes and be like, and it's really crazy, but, like, really finding out, like, learning about yourself. Because, mm -hmm. like, you think, like, you be know like, yourself. You know what I'm saying? Nigga. Like. <laughs> but like when when certain situations happen, bro, like and you like go about it and you know in a certain way, it was like, damn, bro, I did not know like I was capable of doing this or mm -hmm. you know, or I really don't like this shit. Like it's like it's like finding out, like finding learn learning uh, about an another person. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. getting to know another person. It's like damn, bro. Like yeah, I'm finding about nigga. myself. I thought I knew. I thought I knew what I liked and what I didn't like. Or goddamn, or I'm this type of way. But in actuality, like no, bro. Like. We like pretty much know like a small part of ourselves for people that don't really know ourselves in general. You know what I'm saying? Like mm. that shit. That shit is just wild though. Like I like that shit. Just, yeah. Uh, eye openers about like yourself. I think a lot of times, just just like with anything in life, man. If you look at it from a different angle, if you look at it from a different lens, um, just like I said, I look at all of these relationships, all these people I dated. I just look at them as learning experiences that just shape me is still shaping me and grooming me to be the person that i am each and every day each and every day i'm a better version of myself than i was the day before i believe that's just me um moving on well, I, I, well Mr. Oh, go JP, ahead. you said you, you said you're in a relationship right yeah, so how do you feel about what they saying man since you're in a relationship how, I mean, how long how long y'all been together three oh years, man three years. But, Can I, I mean, get transparent real quick? No, nah, not not too transparent. Like, I don't want to speak <laughs> on the like, podcast, all right. not me. It's all right, fuck that bitch. <laughs> so nah, I mean, fuck that. <laughs> I can relate. I can relate to what Oscar's saying because, mm -hmm. like, I actually experienced what he went through before him. So, like, he was able to see 
that situation happened through me. So now that this nigga is here, I don't mean to cut you off. We're gonna get right back into it. <laughs> now that this nigga is here, I'm glad he said that because it was a situation where I was in that last relationship and I was happy as fuck. Yeah, and, and I and but, this nigga was trying to come to me on that shit, <laughs> and I was really just like. I was trying to this do what I could. This can't happen to me. This can't happen to me. <laughs> <laughs> he about, he about like, this, can't ha- this ain't happening to me. Nah, he, used, bro, nah, yeah. Bro. Yeah. Uh, he used to be like, bro, watch out, bro. I'm telling you, watch bro. out, bro. It can end anytime. I'm like, nah, bro. We good. Oh, we, we, get good. Ma- we get married. Nah. Oh, <laughs> fuck. Boy, the thing is, when you make the shit about marriage, oh, you know you off the deep end now, watch boy. That shit is just dead, bro. I was like, like, uh, like yo, we getting married. So where, I was where, like, where the ring at? I was just like happy as fuck, and this nigga yeah. was calling me sad. And I'm just like, man, I'm gonna try to do my best to help, but I can't really help. So yeah, go ahead. Okay. Yeah, but I mean, that situation it was just you know, like really like what he was going. Th- I went, I didn't really go through the pills and stuff. Like my grades, I was in Valdosta at the time, so luckily I was kind of in an open Jeez. space, different I environment. My was shit too. I, I was around. I was around like you know all my homies in Valdosta, so it was it kind of made like things a lot better and move on a lot. Like it didn't move faster because yeah. I, I didn't get over it probably for like a year. Mm. And but like that first couple months, man, I was I was I was sad, man. Grades was dropping. I ain't really like you know I cut myself off from like people back home mm-hmm. and um, social media was done. It was just like you know just. Going through that little childish little phase, but like when you looking back at it, it's like, man, what, what was I thinking? Like, bro, you know, what, I, bro? I, I, like, I probably like just a nut, bro. bro, bro just, looking back at shit, bro, cause like, bro, like really, like looking back when I was like just tripping over Asia, bro. Yeah. Bro, I I really feel like a jackass, bro. Like, I, like it's really it's embarrassing to me. No, you know no, what I'm saying? It, like, it's, it's, that's I feel like that's the number one thing. It's embarrassing. But the thing is, I feel like every nigga got to go through that one heartbreak because mm-hmm. after that first heartbreak, I swear. I don't think it will ever happen again to nobody. Like, I think you got at least yeah, three in your lifetime. It was like elementary, middle yeah. school, maybe high school. You got, I think you ain't got. But the three, I feel as like elementary, elementary, and middle, like you know, really ain't that, like you know, it's it, yeah, it, it ain't is. that serious. But but like you know, when you have a crush on somebody, like and then they don't like you, it's like damn, that's fucked up. But like when you actually in high school and mm-hmm. like actually like you think you in love type shit, mm-hmm. bro. Yeah, that high school. I'm not saying it's serious, but I'm saying the heartbreak. Yeah, school, yeah, that shit, bro. Cause like, bro, like like I said, bro, like when I was goddamn. Tripping over Asia, bro. I'm just like, bro, like, nigga. I'm on my last straw. I'm bro, right like, now. I'm nigga. on my last what, straw. But this, was he tripping? Can't handle no more. Niggas no, no that, that, that seemed to be the case. All, so every Listen. female don't give a shit once they drop no. your ass off. They don't, don't give a shit. Like, that be the funny fuck. part about. But it. see, that's the see. That'd be I, the funny part. I'm, I forgot what podcast I mentioned this. The thing about women, we feel like they've given up, like, at, like that. At, like a snap We felt like that This chick Has given up on you Months before yeah. Yeah, no, that's Her true. body that's is true. there that's true. Her mind Is not there Guarantee you Your feelings would get hurt If you go in her group chat <laughs> And see what, who, what she talking To like, her man, girlfriends this nigga just about pulled up, man. Now What I gotta nigga she talking nigga. To her girlfriends <laughs> about Even well, though y'all Why does it get to that That's how I understand like, <laughs> Alright bro But my thing is bro like, Cause I'm the type of nigga bro, If I'm feeling the type of way bro, I'm gonna let you know Right then But don't goddamn Like be like mentally be gone, be out of the relationship, and then like let me know like months, like no yeah, bitch, yeah, like yeah, yeah. goddamn, don't leave me on thing like shit is all good when it's not, bro. Like if it's not, bro, be straight up with me, so goddamn, like we could like you know I could come well, up with like solution all or all that goofy shit, but but if it's not gonna work, but just say that shit, bro. Like I, cause my thing is bro, do that, right? It's easier said than done. It's easier said than done, it's they easier not said do that. done they but not like bro. Do that. But the thing That's is, been a I, common I, it's so, theme today. But it's so, it's so, it's so easy to me because, because <laughs> I do it. You see what I'm saying? It's easy, it's easy to me because I do it. I keep it, I keep it 100. You know right? what I'm saying? That's exactly so therefore, how we like, do it. bro, it's not, it's not, it's not hard for me to keep it 100 with you. You see yeah. what I'm saying? So yeah. why is it so hard? But, to keep it 100 that's, with me. That's your perspective as a nigga, though. That's, yeah. Like, as a female, they don't think like that. Like, you, Bitch. Like, <laughs> they're not, they not going to think like that. Bro. They're not going to think like that. Oh we think way God. more logical, bro. Like, it's just, yeah. we'll tell a female straight up beforehand. Like, we ain't going to drag on months and months, keep on hurting you like that. Some yeah. Nah, some niggas some, will. Some will. Some will. I, I guess I'm not like that, then. I, well, yeah. hold on. I forget that we're talking the context of two people in a relationship. Yeah. We're not talking about people that's talking. Okay. No, not, not talking. Yeah, talking. Yeah, you can do that just to, you know, get in it. Yeah. Um yeah. speaking of some shit that we think is logic and women will just not get right. Okay. I, I I have this thing. I seen it on Twitter. Of course, 
women love to give their opinions about shit on Twitter. So I want to see how y'all feel about it. So of course, bitches love saying stupid shit and think they have a valid point. Yeah, I'm gonna get into <laughs> two of these things they talking about. One is this that I'm about to bring up, and and the other shit is I'm gonna bring that up later. So of course, everybody that's dating probably don't really know what the fuck the layers to dating are. So I don't even know her name, but she 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 thinks that this is is great definitions of the different stages of dating. Oh so we have God. talking. Mm-hmm. We've exchanged numbers, do things on a friendship level, and maybe even have sex. Testing the waters to see That's if it's a level. growing interest. All right? We have dating. We are spending time together, doing various activities, movies, bowling, concerts, dinner, etc. As friends with the mutual interest in each other. But we still are allowed to talk to other people. Then we have, this is where this bitch done lost me. Actually, I was lost at talking, but dating exclusively. We are dating. However, we have to cut off all other people we're interested in to focus on us getting to know each other better. talking, talking. And then lastly, you have a relationship. We have made a mutual agreement to become a couple. It's just you and me. Some of y'all need this because your understanding about these things be crossed up and twisted up like crazy. Bitch. First, first off, before yeah. y'all even get into it, wait, wait. Get into it, Kev. First of all, fellas, for the fellas listen to this, anything that's on that paper, do not think it pertains to you. <laughs> that shit they made up for themselves. <laughs> Not for one reason should you think that you can abide from that. They Don't understand fuck if y'all this are shit. Talking, y'all are having fun or whatever the fuck they said, bro. Mm-hmm. If you fucking around and go mess with another girl while y'all in the talking stages, that shit is over. Not Period. even that, but the way I look at this whole goofy ass shit, I'm I'm lost at talking. I think talking and dating are literally the same thing. Yes. I don't like the term I don't talking. Know about that. You don't think? No, nah, I think see, talking and dating is a little bit different. Cause I, I feel like you could talk to multiple people at the same time. Dating, you you start to like you don't, you ain't gonna take a a chick like you barely like into. That's like to, on a date. But see, I think that's dating. But like I, but, dating but I feel is like, still yeah, I feel like seeing dating, multiple people. Yeah, I feel like dating is like you know keeping your op- options open and then you fucking with the ones no. like. No, no, no. Like, I think right, it's no, no, literally no. dating and relationship. Yeah, yeah. it's only two. It's not it's talking. Yeah. Too. Talking is something like, you before. Like when you're like when you're yeah. dating, when you're dating, like you're you're still talking. You see what I'm saying? Like y'all still getting to know. No, you're other. dating the same person. No, talking no. is talking to. I'm oh, talking to her. I'm talking to yeah, her. Yeah, talking to her. We talking. Dating is but just I, me and no. This, but see, you know? see okay. if you ask, yeah, you, you if you ask a OG what dating is. They're going to tell you it's a, it is exactly what they think our talking is. Like, when I asked my mom about her dating, she was dating mo- and she, yeah, she's like, not a bad person. She's not a hoe or nothing like that. It's my mom. I love her. But she was dating multiple yeah, niggas. Yeah, like, you keep and it was normal at the time. Yeah, okay, I can see that because you, but as a male, you're the one taking them out on the dates. I'm not taking out and that's where, different what, females. I'm not taking out. I only can take, like, a select... Say say I'm in the talking phase. I talk. You could talk to as many females as you want, mm-hmm. but you you get to pick and choose which ones you want to date. So that's that's how they different. That's how. Okay, that's that how makes I don't think it's that that such I a filter. Okay, I understand. I understand, I understand that. You know what I'm that's it. Mm-hmm. But like, so okay, yeah, I, I get that. I get that. Like you mm. can you could talk. Like you could talk to like you know like you say you got like you know four bitches that you talking to. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But like you probably like really feeling like two for real. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So like. Goddamn! So like you take like you take them on a date like you know two Pardon two me. different times you know like you know if you got if you got money like that you could probably do like one week and another mm-hmm. week yeah. you know what I'm saying but mm-hmm. like yeah so like you like you dating like you dating them two but then like, out of that two then you got to pick that one you know what I'm saying that you fucking so, with the most does that you know not sound question, exhausting listen, so my I mean, question is is talking a part of the relationship stages. Is it not? I mean, I don't think not it is. But but regardless, but regardless, if you have if you if you're fucking with somebody, regardless, like it's mm-hmm. a relationship. Period. Like whether it's a friend, like friendship, Talk like actual relationship. It, still, either way, still it's still a relationship. You see what I'm saying? Not relationship as in like y'all still together. You see mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like we're friends. You know, mm-hmm. it's a friend. Like it's a friendship. It's a mm-hmm. relationship. You see what I'm saying? A relationship between us is a friendship. So at, at the end of the day, it's still like a relationship. You know, regardless, because y'all still getting to know each other. See, I see the I see the equivalent of like I said. Well, I gotta go to work, but you gotta drive or ride the bus to get to work. Mm-hmm. You don't get to work to twelve o'clock, but you drove this 
you know, an hour or 30 minutes. It's like, yeah, when did you get to work? I got to work at 12. I didn't get to work at 11. I wasn't working at 11 because I had to drive to get there. So you wouldn't say you was at work 30 minutes before that. You know what I mean? I no, see that I, as the same. You miss me. I see it as the same. What I'm saying is. You lost it. What I'm saying is. Okay. Girls are like down this. Back. This, no, no, this no, no, no. one, next 15, like, one. Bro, I'm, I'm like, what the fuck? I'm not saying the journey to getting to where I'm talking to this one person uh -huh. will be the same as the relationship stage. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I feel like literally talking and dating exclusively they're synonyms. Dating uh, exclusively okay. is a synonym for a fucking relationship. What's the difference between dating somebody exclusively and being with... It's the same shit. Okay, I guess it's the word. Okay, so the yeah. dating exclusively and the relationship part. Now, I can see how those could be the same thing. Because and yeah. talking and dating... Oh, no. Talking and and dating face value. Because this bitch is out here. I, bruh, I literally can go... I can go as different women. What do they think dating is? I've dated chicks that I thought we were going on dates... And then we on the phone and talking about we're friends. And I'm like, wait. I'll let you bitch that down. Like, <laughs> I thought we was doing, I thought we was trying to, huh? Yeah, and you, that why you skipped the talking phase. You, that's why you skipped the talking phase. You should have just, just That's kept it dating to me. Hey, no, but look, this is somebody this talking be killing to me. This would be killing me it? about bitches like with this whole talking phase, right? Goddamn, they make it seem like, oh, like we're the only ones that, you know, we're supposed, like, you know, we're the only, you're the only one that we're supposed to be talking to. And goddamn, like, they're not talking to nobody else. And then they'll get mad, like, when we're, like, talking to, like, other bitches and shit. Bro, bitch, come on, bro. Stop acting like you. I'm the only one you talking to. You see what I'm saying? Like, bro. That's why like, I said that shit, That's shit, not bro. Read in the bro. chamber. That's, read. that's like, for that's them, bro. That's not like, for bro, us. Bro, <laughs> like, bro, how are you mad at me bro. for talking to somebody else? You know what I'm saying? Like, bro. you still in the picture, but, like, damn, bitch. Like, I'm keeping my options open. Like, <laughs> like, because if you leave, like, who the, who the fuck else am I going to talk to? Them expectations. Okay, then. Like, bro, like, shut the fuck up. Them expectations. Hey. I don't know, man. I don't, because I've always just been iffy about the talking word. Period. I've always been iffy about it since. since uh, but then inception. again, people it's always people, been a weird. People word. fuck up with the talking thing is like, oh yeah, we talking. So like that means like they claiming you already. Right. Like no, bitch. Like like I said, I'm keeping my options open. You know what I'm saying? Like you know, if you do some shit I don't like for real, you know what I'm saying? I'm going over here to goddamn Keisha. You know what I'm talking about? Like <laughs> you got bro, that shit dead. I ain't gonna lie, I'm kind of saucy that my metaphor didn't go over quite well just a minute. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> yeah, you just missed everybody with that one. I was like, <laughs> you started talking about bus stops. No, I'm like, saying, however <laughs> niggas get to work, this nigga got down on count that as Started reciting the Gucci lyrics. You, you, know, know, me, you know me, if today gonna tell you straight up, I don't get it. But I'm just saying, I sit here and it's I not the same thing as. I was trying to get into, that. You getting to that point is not the same thing as working. Like, I wouldn't, my travel wouldn't be, I was at work at that time. Same it. thing. Okay, now, okay, those. now I get what you're saying. But I, I was, like, these yeah, niggas start talking about uh, bus stops and driving, like, because I, I know niggas, huh? some niggas don't ride. How, water, how, how, ride shit, butt, you know like, how does it correlate? Like, <laughs> but yeah, I get you though. I, I feel it. <laughs> okay. Moving on, uh, a lot of uh, let's see, man, be his peace. Oh lord. <laughs> hey, brother. <Robinson. laughs> <laughs> What's funny, nigga? Bro, I know, bro. <laughs> I just been saying a lot of that shit, bro, and just goddamn like the memes and all that People shit. shit but, like be his peace, and it's just a whole bunch of pictures of bitches that's really been fucking up niggas. Like, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna say the sad parts of that though, right? Go ahead and in intro what you finna do, so I can take the sad part. Go ahead. So I don't know what the fuck it is. I just be going through Twitter, and when I see some shit that make me laugh, I jot it down on my notes for the week. So I've been seeing this running little trend about be his peace. What is be his peace? I guess it's supposed to be meaningful of... A lot of bullshit going on, bro. If he come home, bro, don't goddamn add another issue to it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, Eloquently put. I right. guess so. And bitch, just stop being annoying, I guess, is what it comes down to. Yeah. I've just been having fun looking at these tweets because it's just been some of the most funniest shit with the most unruly of women that are nowhere near peace. Mm -hmm. Bro, they said what I will say be his peace, and they got a picture of left eye. I said, "Oh my god!" <laughs> what bro. I will say, and it might, it might, it might sound like I'm on some pick me shit, but are we ever gonna be her peace? 
You saw the picture I posted last night, right? What was it? It, it was, was it. the equivalent of the same thing. It was Chris it, Brown. Chris Brown. Uh, it was, uh, uh, Ike. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, Bobby Brown. I thought it was No, funny. not Bobby Brown. Uh, um, who, uh, who else was that nigga? We don't stop doing I Chris think. Brown like that. Chris Brown retaliated, man. Oh, the nigga from the she Tyler She grabbed Perry. that yeah, nigga yeah. dick in the Lambo while he was trying to drive that That's motherfucker. I'm going to probably reflex bitch, and smack bitch, you too. She didn't care nothing about her life. Though. Like, come on. We got to dead that bitch, shit. If, Y'all really if anybody, if anybody career. is fighting anybody in the middle of somebody's driving, they clearly they don't give a fuck about our lives. Like, goddamn, like that shit is dead. But anyway, the, uh, be be his peace. 